Hi guys, you're here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music and welcome to lesson five of Piano for Beginners. Today we're gonna see what major scales are and we've done octaves before. If you haven't seen that video, the link will be somewhere above here and don't know where, but definitely check out that video before. So we have major scales and we have minor scales. Now a scale consists of all the notes that are included in a certain key. Now, what do I mean by that? You have different keys and I will explain exactly what a key is uh, in a later video. But a key is usually called after a certain note. Now, the easiest one is the C major uh, scale. Uh, because in the C major scale, we only use white keys. That's very easy to understand. And I uh, use this example in previous videos as well. The C major scale is this one. Now, how do we recognize a basic major scale? Because you have pentatonic scales and such as well. Uh, but for a beginner, just start off with major scales, minor scales. With major scales, between all the notes in this scale, there is a full tone, except for two ones. And that's between the third and the fourth, and between the seventh and the eighth. Between those, there's only half a tone, okay? So if we start with the C, we have always a full tone except for the third and the seventh. So we have the C, full tone to the D, full tone to the E, but now we have only half a tone between the third and the fourth. Okay, there's not a black E in between this, so there's only half a tone. So we go to the F, then we have a full tone to the G, full tone to the A, full tone to the B, and that's the seventh, so then we end up with a half a tone to the C. In this case, the C5. So in between the third and the fourth, and the seventh and the eighth, there is half a tone. That's how we recognize major scales. And we can do this like you saw in the intro, actually, in the preview. Uh, you have this for every key possible. So I start with the C right here. But you can have the same for the D, for example. And it's the same principle between the third and the fourth and the seventh and the eighth. There's a half a tone uh, in between. So we can have this for pretty much every tone. Uh, and we can have this in different octaves, of course. Like we have this on this octave on the C4, but we can start it at the C5 or the C3. Or if my other hand is possible as well. Now if we go the opposite way and we start up and we go lower then between the first and second that we play there's a half a tone and then between the fifth and the sixth there's also a half a tone okay so that's a little bit different but the notes stay the same so guys that was it Next week, I'm gonna show you what minor scales are, basic minor scales, and show you what the difference is between the minor and the major scales that we saw today. I hope you learned something again today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out my other tutorial videos. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much, and see you guys next time. Bye. And welcome to this lesson five of beginners. And welcome to lesson five of begin. But it's also a scale. All these notes, um, but, but in scales, but what are scales? Actually, those are all the, this key. Um, and what is it are similar to that? Now a scale in, as the base notes of, his, of but it's at, but it's basically uh, and it doesn't need and it doesn't even have to, then of course it's then of course it's different than the second then so next week guys I'm gonna explain to you what may.
So now, my other tutorials and I have music videos and I have music. Also, don't forget to 